Is it raining in the middle of the day? Oh wow. The camera's not even doing a great job of capturing the sunlight. It's actually quite yellow. I'll have to change it a little in post so you guys can see better. Because on my screen it's appearing as gray. It's very yellow and bright and golden. Oh my god. It's just really coming down. Also, it's terribly overexposed. Let me fix that. There we go. You can just kind of crank up the, uh, the shutter speed a little bit. Man, what's the front look like? Oh, it's water. Hello, water. It's perfect playing in the rain weather. Playing in the rain weather? I want to go out I, oh, I don't at all. You're doing this. Okay. Is it great? It is great. You know you're you're getting soaked. I know I'm getting soaked. Okay, I didn't know if you were aware. Most people don't like consciously decide to do that. How often do you get to do this though? I mean, when you're like a kid. There's a rainbow. I bet. Man. Hold on, I gotta play with the aperture here. Dang, man. It just suddenly started coming down. Our neighbor was power washing, and I thought they were power washing our house. Oh, really? <laughs> so I went to look, and it's just pouring. Dang. It's, uh... Sounds like it's probably not even going to last long. No, it's not. Because, like, the sky is blue, man. Wild. My camera's getting a tiny bit wet. I mean, you can see that I'm, like, way over here. Yeah. There. You are so wet now. Dear God. We go back to uh, auto exposure. Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. It's, it's raining. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I heard the noise and then I, I came out here and looked and Mal's already decided that she wanted to play in the rain. But she's a very free spirit where I'm like, I was in the middle of working, so I'm definitely gonna go back to work. I'm not gonna go out and play in the rain. It's still coming down out there, man. There's just... Oh, well, it's wild, you know, because it's it's nice and bright. Anyway, kind of a weird place to start the vlog. Um, it's like five five o'clock or so. Um, we got up early again today. Uh, we we set our alarms for eight a.m. and got up. Um, just been getting stuff done. Uh, I've been really happy with the the progress I've been making on stuff. I'm almost done with the thing. I've, I've spent like the last several days really working on and off. Um, some some stuff and I'm almost done with it and uh, then I can kind of get back to um, everything but I should be done tonight and then also tonight is Saturday so it's game night there's so many people out of town though Dan's still out of town he'll be back tomorrow Alex and Haley are out of town um, I think it's one or two other people are out of town so we're gonna have a smaller group I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna play um, we're, we're well overdue for playing more thousand blank white cards and there's like I think Chaz said that there's currently like a thousand, like there's actually a thousand submissions. So uh, that's probably what we're gonna do tonight. But um, I'm already starting to get hungry. We've because our schedule's changed so much in the last few days. Um, now I'm getting I'm getting hungry at a normal dinner time, which is good because we had been eating dinner a little bit late, like closer to ten or eleven, and now it's been shifted up. And now you know it's only five something, and I'm starting to get the the hunger pangs. So. Probably have to make dinner soon. Look how tiny it is. Found a buddy, didn't you? He's so tiny. Dang, that is that is such a tiny little critter, He's Mal. He's so little. He's so cute. He's looking around. How small do you think that is? I don't know, but I could measure my thumb later. <laughs> it's probably about the size of like of an inch. Half a dime. Yeah. Half a dime in length. Wow, there's a pretty good close-up of the little guy. He's so small. 
Wow. You ever seen one that tiny? Um, not a frog like this. We got one hanging out back that's like ten times the size. The only the only difficulty is like keeping this thing in focus. It's so small. Hi buddy. He says hi, I'm a froggy. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> Alright, you should probably you should probably just put him into the grass. We'll put him back at his house. Yeah. A little bit later, and we just finished up our recording for Saturday, uh, we did a few episodes of Thousand Blank White Cards, just because there's still so many submissions, and we need to continue to work through that um, ever-expanding uh, pile of cards. But uh, this was actually, I think, and Mal, you might, you might have to correct me, I think this is the first time that we've ever had to scrap Stephen and Friends material due to a... Like a record, with the recording? yeah, recording yeah, issue. I, think so. I don't think we've ever had one of those problems, which is, I'm pretty proud of. I mean, it's been years um, that we've been doing this, and I don't think we've ever had a problem. This was the first night that we ever had a problem. We got a few minutes into a video, um, just a f not very far, but just a little bit, and I had to stop it because I was like, I'm not getting any levels from my mic because I have everything set up where I can see the levels for Discord, I can see the levels for the game, and I can see the levels for my mic, and they're all different tracks. And uh, I was looking at it, and normally everything's set up and everything just works, that I was lulled into the false sense of security. I was like, all right, we're all set, but and then we started, and I was looking at the meters, and I'm like, when I talk, my meter's not moving, so I had to stop the recording. And um, I was losing my mind trying to figure out what was wrong. I was doing all sorts of stuff. Finally, and this is so silly. Finally, I found out what the problem was. The problem was... You see that little red light? That little red light is a button. That's phantom power. That's what sends 48 volts to the, uh, the microphone um, so it will function. Um, certain mics, um, condenser mics, uh, need phantom power in order to function. And um, I haven't recorded anything in a while because we had recorded a bunch of stuff a while back because we were going to be out of town and the dam was going to be out of town. So I haven't had to actually like record anything. Um, the All of the Fallout stuff doesn't... Re well, not to spoil stuff. The Fallout stuff doesn't require um, audio that I'm working on right now. So I haven't needed this stuff, and I had actually turned off the Phantom Power button, and um, it had been off, I guess, for so long that... I forgot I needed to turn it on, and that was the problem, and that just about drove me nuts. Whenever I finally realized that it was so bad. But then I turned, I, I pressed that one button, and everything worked again, and then we were able to record uh, two episodes. So, those will be out at some point in the near future. Um, we don't have a whole lot, nor, we, I like to sit on a lot of Stephen and Friends content, because it makes me feel better, because I'm like, oh, we have stuff ready. Um, Currently, we don't have anything additional edited, but we do have these two episodes of Thousand Blank with Cards, and then we also have Saddle Quest, the Minecraft thing. Um, but that's not edited, so I'm not sure uh, when that'll be out. Dan gets back into town tomorrow. We have to go pick him up uh, tomorrow night. Um, so he'll probably be working on that a little bit whenever he gets back into town, but it's not ready right this second. Uh, anyway, that is it for today, and... I'm pretty excited because tomorrow is Sunday, which means tomorrow is our day off. I've got everything scheduled right now, um, at least on Steven Place, for um, Monday. And um, I'm, I'm going to just, you know, take it easy, not do anything, and uh, work on some stuff around the house that needs to get done. And uh, last week we were, in, we were in Greenville, so it wasn't really a day off. But the week before was our, you know, our first day off. So this is going to be kind of like our second, so... I'm not exactly sure what we're going to work on. I know we do have a few errands we have to run outside of the house. But um, I'm just looking forward to having another day off and getting an, a, a chance to experience what that feels like. Now, with the added benefit of this new sleep schedule. I mean, it's a little late now. It's 1. But we're going to go to bed basically immediately. We'll probably be up by uh, 9 or 9.30 at the latest. Okay. That was a mouthful. But I'm done now. Thank you so much for watching. And as always... Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?